New Democratic leadership on Capitol Hill says it's committed to making ethics and lobby reform a top priority for the 110th Congress. But just this week, Representative John Murtha's run as a House Majority Leader was met with some ethical questions from his past. And then just before the election, Murtha made it onto a list of the most corrupt members of Congress. So how serious is the new leadership about cutting out corruption and where should they start? Melanie Sloan has some ideas. She is the executive director of Citizens for Responsibility and Ethics in Washington, the group which listed Mirtha as a top member to watch. And welcome to you, Melanie. Thanks for having me. So your group's list is basically a play-by-play, -play, if you will, on corruption in the 109th Congress. And this came out just before the midterm elections, this list. Who's left on it? There are still a lot of members left on the list, including John Doolittle from California, Jerry Lewis from California, Alan Mollahan from West Virginia, um, and, and those are just a couple of the ones that we really need to watch in the upcoming Congress. All right. Now, it's obvious if Democrats want to do some house cleaning, they're going to have to look on both sides of the aisle. I mean, Murtha himself, he's a decorated war veteran. He is a hero to the anti-war left. So why did he make the list, and, and what other Democrats do you think we should be watching? Well, first, I have to say I, I admire the courage John Murtha has shown with his stance on Iraq, but that doesn't change the fact that he has some serious ethical problems. There's been a, a lot of suggestion that he has been trading campaign contributions for earmarks as well as for votes in the prior Congress. And hopefully, while he now has the, he's going to be the chairman of the Defense Appropriations Committee, hopefully he's going to clean up his act there. But uh, other Democrats, though? I mean, John Murtha's not the only one on your list. No, he's not. Alan Mollahan from West Virginia. He's under federal investigation right now, and it'll be interesting to see what happens with that in the next year, as well as William Jefferson from Louisiana. But he has a runoff election in December, so it's not clear that he'll be returning. Yeah. But there are also a large number of Republicans on the list, including Jerry Lewis, who's been the chairman of appropriations, will now perhaps be ranking member, and he's also under federal investigation, and we're very concerned about him going forward. Okay, well, I want to take a look at the list. We're going to have our director put this list up. It's a full screen. And we have uh, names of all of them here. Uh, people voted out of office here. Let's look at this from the Senate Conrad Burns, Bill Frist, Rick Santorum. I mean, they were all Republicans, none returning for the 110th Congress. What do you make of this? I make of this that people were very concerned about corruption this, this last election. There were some exit polls that showed that corruption was the leading issue for folks, even above Iraq. And it's not just those senators who are gone. There are several members of Congress who also lost their seats, including Richard Pombo from California, John Sweeney from New York, J.D. Hayworth from Arizona, Don Sherwood from Pennsylvania, and Kurt Weldon from Pennsylvania. He, there's some other interesting Republicans on your list, and we're talking about Roy Blunt. He makes the top 20, and he was also elected yesterday to serve as the minority whip for the 110th Congress. Are, are you surprised at all by his election? And I'd like to know the charges against him, because I'm not real familiar with that. Sure. Roy Blunt has uh, been had a long history of, he's what we, we call our all-in-the-family program. He uses his position in Congress to financially benefit his family. Uh, his wife is a lobbyist, one of his sons is a lobbyist, and they have all benefited from his legislative, his, their clients have benefited from Roy Blunt's legislative assistance. The re-election of Roy Blunt to the House leadership, the Republican leadership, shows that the Republicans really didn't take to heart the message of, the nine, uh, of this election. They are not understanding that corruption matters. Okay. They are not yet cleaning up. But, but I, I do want to clarify, Melanie, this all in the family issue you have with Roy Blunt, it is not illegal, right? Uh, it is not illegal, but there are House rules that say you're not allowed to use your position to financially benefit your friends and family. So it does violate okay. House rules. All right. Melanie Sloan, Executive Director of Citizens for Responsibility and Ethics in Washington, thanks for your time.